Okay, we're at the Route 66 Auto Museum in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. So I'll take you on a little mini tour so you don't have to pay the five bucks. So here's the entrance over here where you come in. And this is what you see first of all. 34 Ford. And then this, I guess they call this the Bozo vehicle, but it's an old Chevy truck, kind of custom restyled. I'll show you the other side in a minute. Here we have a 1936 Chevy two-door coupe. And then we have Bob back there, standing next to a Dodge, blue Dodge. And here's the other side of this thing. I don't know what it's even based on. 1947. Based on a 1947 Chevy truck. And right next to it, 280ZX. My friend Jason Song would probably like the 280ZX. He likes the foreign cars. Here we got your classic T-Bird. What year is it? I'm not really up on these. It's a 63. It's a 63 T-Bird. Give you the wide angle shot of it there. And here's my kind, 63 Nova, 63 Chevy Nova. If I could take home any of them, this would be the one I would take home. And we got a little Willys Jeep back here. Not sure the year of it. 56 Cadillac Fleetwood. And then this looks like a Chrysler. They don't have a sign on it, but it looks kind of like some of my my dad used to do Chrysler Imperials. So. If I'm wrong, somebody tell me in the comments, but it looks like an old Chrysler Imperial, maybe 67, 68. I think my dad had a 68, and it was really similar to this, but slightly different, so I'm guessing this is a possibly a 67. And we definitely got the gas station stuff going here. I like that Texaco sign. Old antique gas pump. Engine. Route 66 sign, and let's keep on going down. There's an old Chevy station wagon. My dad had the uh, non-station wagon version of this one. I think it was, uh, I'm trying to remember what year it was, 62, 63, not positive. I'll look on the sign there and see. It was very 32 Ford 5 window coupe. Oh, this is a 60 Chevy Nomad. I thought the Nomads were all two doors, but I guess they made a four door version. I thought it would be just a regular wagon, but yeah, 1960 Chevy Nomad. And what is this? Plymouth Convertible. What year? 67 Plymouth Belvedere, 318. Cool. Thirty one Chevy Coupe. What year is oh this is this is what I call a Chevy Nomad right here. This is fifty seven Chevy Nomad. Now this is this is the classic classic one. Two door and everything. We'll do a walk around to this one. It deserves a walk around. Baby blue with white top. Same fins as the 57 car has, and the opening hatch in the back, and been driven as late as 2010, got the 2010 sticker on it, so somebody's been driving it. Okay, <clears throat> looks, like some more, looks like a more modern pickup truck here. And nothing on this, but it's, it's a more modern. Oh, here we go, Woody. 1949 Ford Woody Wagon, 5.0 Cobra, 5 .0 Cobra V8 5 speed. Check out that grill. We got the Ford Mustang coming up in a second here. I 
All these cars are in really good shape. Bet you most of them probably are drivable. Get the long view of this. Okay, now we're going to go to the Mustang. 65 Ford Mustang. Powder blue also. Isn't that cool looking? And what year is this? Another Mustang? And what year? We got a few Mustangs here. 65. Another 65. Okay, this is one of those newer ones. This is, I think this is the Mach 2. No, Mach 1. This is the Mach 1. 1973, and it's for sale. 22,500 bucks if you want to buy it. It's for sale right now. And right beside me here, this is an old Auburn. What year is it? 1931 Auburn, straight eight. See, look at all you're getting for uh, not having to pay the five bucks. There's a more modern Mustang there. I'm into the old stuff though. We'll, we'll bypass that one. Mercedes, 29 Mercedes Gazelle. And what do we got here? 440 Hem. Uh, is this what is this? Fort Roadrunner, the 440 Roadrunner, 1970. Boy, when I was a kid, I saw quite a few of these. Well, not even a kid. I was a teenager. I saw quite a few of these on the road. And there probably still are quite a few. And your Corvettes, although I'm not. I mean, they're okay. I'm not a real big fan of Corvettes, but they are kind of cool looking. 68 Corvette. That's uh, the second Corvette that my uncle owned that I rode in was a 68 Corvette. I think the first one was a 63. And this is it. This is 63. This is actually... I'm not sure the color. No, his was a different color. But the very first Corvette I ever rode in was my uncle's 63 Corvette. So it looks a lot like this. I think his was uh, black or dark blue, something like that. I'm trying to remember because I was pretty young when I rode into it. And of course, your classic 57 Chevy. Two door. A buddy of mine actually owned a 57 Chevy and we rode around in it quite a bit. We got a 65 Chevy Stepside pickup truck. I'll show you the back of the Roadrunner, 1970. Oh, and here we go. This is the other one. That probably it would be either that Nova or this one right here. This is actually one I absolutely love. This is a 1970 Chevelle SS. Anything 60 to 70, 68 to 70. I like the 68 to 70 era Chevelles. Say what? 350 cubic inch engine. There's a 2009 Corvette for sale. How much are they asking for it? See, all you have to do is come down to Santa Rosa, New Mexico. $95,000 is all they're asking for this. Come down to Santa Rosa, New Mexico and get you one of these. There's something you ought to take a gander at because those won't be around too much longer. Phone booth. Can't find them hardly anywhere. And you got your old uh, automotive test equipment back there. Probably some old garages still have them sitting in the back, but I don't know if much of anybody's using them anymore. I think everything is uh, plug in and you do it on a laptop computer or whatever. And your old vending machines. Okay. I think I did already show you this. So I think I've given you almost all the tour here. This was the. Uh, No, Plymouth. Plymouth five-window coupe, I believe. But I'm not sure you're some, sometime in the 30s, and they don't have a sign on it. And then the back end of the Chevy pickup truck. Got a nice wooden bed in it here. This is one of those things I think they're just making it, keeping it this way just to make it look like a rat because they've done other stuff to it. So they're just keeping it the more natural look. It's like a little fixing up done there, but yeah. I don't think this one's ever going to probably be painted. So, this is the fast down and dirty tour of the Route 66 Automobile Museum in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. Hope you enjoyed it and saved you five bucks, or if you liked it well enough, maybe you'll pay the five bucks when you come to Santa Rosa, New Mexico and actually go to it.